everyone. I'm over here in Greenville, Georgia. This is the courthouse behind me. Meriwether County, Georgia. Cool thing about this is we finally got a little bit of access to the old county jail. I've got some still shots I'm going to share with you as well. We got a bunch of Halloween stuff. Haven't sorted through it. Don't know if it's good, if it's bad. We don't know. We're going to wait and see. But the cool thing about it was we did get in the jail. And you might know a little bit about the history of the jail. Sorry, there's a big truck going by. The history of the jail is that a very famous story uh, was turned into a book and then a movie called Murder in Coweta County. The story is that there was a man named John Wallace who lived here in Meriwether County who was very wealthy, very powerful man, but he was mean as fire from what people said. They said even if you just looked at him cross-eyed, he, he just as soon stab you or shoot you, so that really mean guy. Uh, well, he was here in Meriwether County, and one of his sharecropper hands, named Wilson Turner, apparently he was accused of stealing some cows. And he was brought here to the courthouse. And he was found guilty of stealing those cows. And John Wallace had him locked up for two nights at the Meriwether County, the original old jail, which I'm going to show you the video of, which we got a little access today, not much, but some. And we do have some still shots from a previous visit. Miss Maria was really gracious about that. She purchased that on a tax sale. She purchased the property. She went to a uh, tax sale and had three envelopes. One had $5,000, one had $10,000, one at twenty thousand dollars. When she got there, nobody else was uh, bidding on the property, so she handed him the five thousand dollar envelope, and she got the property for five thousand dollars. It's an incredible building. It's on the market again. If she can find the right builder, a buyer, somebody who's going to take care of the property. But Wilson Turner spent the last two nights of his life in that jail, and I'm going to show you a picture of the actual jail cell. Hope you enjoy this video. We had fun making it. And again, we're here at the historic courthouse. Lady dogs barking at you. That ain't gonna hurt so it either, but it might bust this. Ugh, don't hurt yourself. Wilson Turner was released from this jail cell in April of 1948. When he went to leave, he saw John Wallace waiting for him on the steps of the courthouse. Turner made it just over the county line into Moreland, Georgia, where John Wallace caught up to him, beat him about the head with an unidentified object, and dragged him into the back seat of his car. He then returned the body to Meriwether County and dumped him in a well on his property. Later, Lamar Potts, the sheriff, would visit his property, and that made Wallace move the body again and that's when he enlisted the help of two sharecroppers to drag the body from the well burn it in a fire pit and dumped the remains in a creek on his property in Meriwether County Georgia 
1976, Margaret Ann Barnes wrote the book Murder in Coweta County. A subsequent movie starring Johnny Cash and Andy Griffith was released in 1983. Also starring as Mahaley Lancaster, the one-eyed soothsayer, was Johnny Cash's wife, June Carter Cash. John Wallace was feared by many folks, but not Sheriff Lamar Potts or by the soothsayer Mahaley Lancaster. Potts visited Mahaley, who offered up the vision of fire and water. Potts left her the dollar and a dime for the required payment, a dollar for her and a dime for her dogs. Potts then went to Meriwether County where he found brain matter in a well and bone fragments in a creek, both on John Wallace's Meriwether County property. reckon they'd put in here? Huh? How many men you reckon they'd put in here? In 1986 they had 85 prisoners but they called 85? 45 failed. Wow. The state made them move out. That right there is pretty heavy but Inmates wrote notes on the wall, which Miss Maria has left in place for eternity. Although local lore will tell you that many a hanging was carried out in these gallows, there are no names recorded. A hangman's noose would have been strung through this iron ring suspended from the ceiling in the gallows of the old Meriwether County Jail. Maria had opened the jail up for two years as a haunted house. We have been given the opportunity to get those items from her home. Excited to see what they might be. This is like curtains and cloths that say bloody things on it, I was told. I had more fun 
this stuff. I ain't oh, that's so funny. <laughs> that looked pretty good out the door there, I have to tell you. You could play doctor. It's a real one. Look at that. Thump, 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 thump. And some light up skulls. bucket of eyeballs and skulls. Oh my. This is an interesting bucket. A tarantula. And a saw. A bloody saw because everything's bloody. Cool. And a bloody shovel and a sea clamp. And a bloody shovel. And another saw. And another hat. And another hat. There's a skeleton. And we have a skeleton. Rain out. Everything is covered. In blood. Snakes. Bunch of snakes. <laughs> 